Hello, YouTube, Deep South here. Can you tell I'm in sunny Florida? 70 degrees right now. Short sleeves, 30 degrees this morning. <laughs> Typical Florida weather. But, um, doing a short video. Right now, um, beginning a mutual project with Michael, the Bearded Clam, and we're developing some kit together. Um, what we're doing together is going to be in separate videos. He'll probably be doing his, and I'll be doing mine. But um, the way this all got started was we wanted to do some trading because um, we're all aware that there's things in the U.K. I can't get or we can't get, and there's things in the U.S. that they can't get, or it's all we, I guess. But anyway, so we have problems getting kit from our different countries. So we did some trading around. And... Um, one of the things I've been wanting for a long time is a British Bergen. I have seen these in so many videos. Um, Jedi Knight of the Woods, I think was the first time I ever saw one. It was either that or um, Mick, Animal Tendencies. And I think Sandy's got one. Um, like, I think everybody over there's got one. Um, one of the issues I'm going through is I've got too much junk. <laughs> i got too much gear, and I, I've got to do something about it. And right now it's scattered out between multiple bags. You know, i got a 24-hour bag. i got a day bag, um, my EDC bag, 72-hour um, bug-out bag. i got my camping bag. But what I want to kind of do now is start all over. And... Um, one of the things that's causing me issues is when I go camping is getting all my gear together quickly. It takes me too long to pack up and get going. I want to be able to grab my bag and just go. Um, the issues with my other bags is they weren't large enough to hold everything. I could get everything in there but my sleep system. Um, so I wanted to try it with this because the U.S. military sleep system is so large. It's going to take up almost all the space in here, I would think. I don't know yet. He got this at Military Mart for me. Um, I want to thank him for that. I want to thank all the people at Military Mart who work with him and myself to get this. Um, they gave me a great price. Um, it's in very good shape. All the zippers are sound. There's no holes in it. Um, there's any flaws in there. I haven't found them other than one buckle that um, I don't even know which one it is now. Just the middle piece is missing. It still works, functions properly, so there's no issue with that. <clears throat> other than that, very sound bag. Um, by the way, one of those other things I can't get over here was a Webtex, and he sent me this. Um, this was his personal one, so the red beard has actually touched that. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like that or not, but <laughs> no, it means a lot to me. Um, I really like having gear that's been personalized by, you know, my friends, you know, you see them in videos, and um, when you get the used gear that they've actually used, you know, um, it's kind of sentimental, but um, anyway, other than that, the bag itself, I'm not going to really do a review of it, there's a million reviews of Bergen's on, on YouTube, this is mainly um, a thank you for Military Martin, Michael, and to tell you, I'm going to be working on various projects with this. With it. Also, I got the waterproof cover. And. Also, the harness. So that the rocket packs can be converted into day packs. Really like that option. Uh, that option and um, even though this is 
used. This looks almost spanking brand new. So, looking forward to this. Very similar to one of our systems that you may be seeing in the future. So, I don't see any holes. There's some um, a little bit of wear and tear. That's to be expected. It is used. Um, it's dirty. One of the things I'm about to do, I'm going to take it to the car wash right now, give it a good washing, um, a good scrub. And then hopefully I can find out how Sergeant Fruitcake water treated his, the one that he gave the Jedi Knight of the Woods. I really like that. Um, this one's kind of faded doesn't bother me at all, but I think um, that water treatment that um, he gave his Bergen would um, really like touch this one up and make it look good. Plus, it would be more durable and more waterproof. So, um, other than that, this is my future project is to um, get this completed get it outfitted the way I like it, and then um, eventually, when I'm comfortable with it, I'll show you how I get it all set up and what I've done to it. But, Mr. Jones, 98, thank you for your service. very happy with this. I have been looking forward to owning one of these since I think I've been on YouTube. Um, so that's it. Future videos on this and the mutual project that Michael and I are working on. And other than that, latest update for me, I got two more weekends left of um, primitive deer season. I may or may not get to go. I don't know. Um, I've basically filled my quota for this year, and um, anything extra would just be gravy. So uh, it's been a, an interesting hunting season, that's all I can say. Um, I think I ended up with two rifle kills and four bow, four bow kills. Um, great season, but it was very different. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, so anyway, you two, nice seeing y'all again. Even though I don't see you, you see me. Nice talking to you again and spending some time. Um, hopefully things will slow down for me a little bit. Uh, one of my goals this year is to do uh, at least one solo a month. I'm going to try that even in the heat of the summer because I just want to see if um, – I can tolerate it. I doubt that it's going to be a two-nighter, but I can handle an overnighter. It's just um, the hours between about 11 o'clock and 4 o'clock, they're just so miserable that um, you just don't want to be out there. So that might be what I do in the summertime is just go out late in the evening and then spend the night and come back. But I do want to at least camp out. Um, do an overnighter or two nights every month this year. That's my goal. So far, I've done, uh, I got a January. Um, my astronomy club met and we camped out. And uh, I didn't get that on video. Uh, I was just too, too busy doing other things. But anyway, that's my plan for right now. But um, 